So Team Amber Heard is defending Harvey Weinstein. Did I read that correctly? Oh, yeah, it looks like I did. As buzzwords and hashtags, oh, they epically collide. And what's wild about this and other posts is they have Team Amber Heard not just turning on E. Barlow, but they're turning on Amber Heard as well. They're saying things like the fact that Amber Heard is still friends with Eve Barlow. That is telling you everything that you need to know. I mean, this is amazing here. I mean, you're seeing a breakdown of epic proportions to the point that many in Team Amber Heard, they're either denouncing Eve Barlow, they're saying that Amber Heard was led astray into a cult, or they're denouncing Amber Heard herself. You and I, we are going to talk about this stuff today, too. And this, this is fun times. This is fun times indeed. So this is an Instagram by no other than Eve Barlow. And this thing is fascinating to me because she's shouting down social media causes. That's her description, by the way. She's calling them social media causes, including Hashtag me too. And I find that fascinating considering she and Amber Heard, they tried to weaponize this thing to the point they went after people like myself. They tried to get us banned. They went after people like Johnny Depp. They tried to accuse him of terrible things. And Eve Barlow has weaponized that thing much, much more. But now she's doubling back and she's saying, hey, all that thing was about was targeting Jewish people. Let me check this out here. So I question everything, she begins, and so should you. Were any social justice causes made to serve the people they promised? Free Palestine isn't, was hashtag me too, or was that about making an example of an evil Jewish man with power. Now, you know right there, she's talking about Harvey Weinstein, and she's saying it's not the deeds there, is it? No, the reason that he was targeted was because it was making an example out of an evil Jewish man with power. Not an evil man, not a man with power, a Jewish man. Did it serve women when it mattered, she continues? No. And I find that fascinating, too, because she's telling you it didn't service women. But she didn't mind weaponizing the thing. Amber Heard didn't mind weaponizing the thing. They've been doing it, and they continue to do it while they're saying, hey, this thing is inherently racist. She continues by saying it was about banning Stars of David at the Women's March. Now, remember, the Women's March, they held up high. They were saying, man, we love this place. Why do we love this place? Because this place, it actually backed Amber Heard. So when you think about the statement there, yeah, what are you saying? Are you saying that backers of Amber Heard are racists? Are you saying that they hate Jewish people? Or are you just saying that you lied about this place because, hey, they were backing a cause that you liked at the time? She continues by saying while they were doing that, they were championing misogynist Islamists like Linda Sarsour. Then she goes after BLM. She says the same thing. So she attacks all of these major institutions and saying this and other posts from Eve Barlow, you know, posts like, hey, I'm going to Israel. I've got a plane ticket. I'm going to war now and I'm occupying this hotel room. Yeah, to say that those are going over like lead balloons is an insult to lead balloons. I mean, this stuff, it's not only taking Eve Barlow to the folks she helped recruit, but it has Team Amber Heard turning on her. And when you look at the names here, these are people with names like Queen Mira. I mean, these are the people that got down in the trenches. They fought for Amber Heard. Now, now they're like denounce or else. I mean, check this out here. Quote, honestly, I've lost a bit of respect for her. Talking about Amber Heard, why is she still following Eve? She must have seen Eve's evil post. Same feeling. You notice the name of the person replying, by the way. And she even likes some of Eve's shitty posts back in 2021 and 2020. 
That's inexcusable. And they're talking about post by the way. They talked about Israel. They talked about Palestine. They said something that they don't like. And now the cope here that they've come up with is that Eve Barlow must have been running the accounts. That's the only way. Because, of course, Amber Heard is never, ever responsible for her own actions. But let's continue here. The fact that she's still friends with that thing. So, you have Eve Barlow unperson now. She's no longer human. She's that thing is telling everything that I need to know. It's inexcusable after this genocide and after everything that Eve wrote. So again, following that thing, it is inexcusable. That's a statement there. Then they follow this up by saying, yeah, I'm not defending this. It's inexcusable and it's wrong. If Brandon is able to unfollow Eve, so apparently there's part of that circle, they're dropping her like a bad habit, then so is Amber. So they're telling you, yeah, we back you. We do anything. We name ourselves after you. We listen and believe, but we see this and we don't support you anymore. That's crazy, isn't it? Now, it's especially telling about what was said and really about Heard and about Eve Barlow is that Barlow was recruiting people for Amber Heard for years, all the way back into that certain hashtag movement. This, this is admitted in a prior conversation by the very people that are turning on her. I mean, look at this here. So she's been setting Amber up behind her back for an entire year, one begins, and another says, no, longer than that. She's been chatting with Amber fans, giving live updates on Amber day-to-day. That would mean access, which would mean, of course, that would be consensual there. Using access to Amber as a bartering chip with randoms online, since before the UK trial. That means all the way back into those big time days of Me Too. You know, the thing that she is now saying, yeah, it was all a fraud. Then when she got exposed as a moron by most of the internet, she weaponized her access to Amber and tried to get fans she was chatting with to come to her defense and then got pissy when they wouldn't because she's a lunatic. So, All of the stuff that she did for others, she got no pay for. Now, they're turning on her, they're demanding denouncement, and she's turning on the very movements that she went out and weaponized. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? I never thought I would see, hey, Harvey Weinstein there, kind of going and shilling for him. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough, too. Thank you. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. Share this everywhere, too. I'll leave you with this. Thanks. Welcome to 2024.